What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee. I thought I would do a little week in my life because I feel like I haven't filmed that in like forever. And yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to film that. Today is Tuesday. So it's gonna be, yeah, four days instead of five days. But I had Thanksgiving this weekend and I just like really wanted to like disconnect and just like spend time with my family and like not be on social media that much or anything. And I really did enjoy my weekend and it was much needed just to like, yeah, disconnect. So today is technically my Monday because yesterday was just like, I took the day off, relaxed, had a great day with Zach. So yeah, and like my family and all that. So a lot of turkey, a lot of food, but yeah, so I just, finished a workout i did a lower body workout for 30 minutes i'll link the workout that i did this morning down below because it's a shorter week it's kind of a shorter workout schedule than i typically do typically i work out like five days a week but this week i'll probably work out only four days a week um i just kind of base my schedule on however the week flows if that makes sense i'm not very picky um as long as i like get some movement in throughout the week like that's the most important part to me i already did have breakfast but i'm gonna have a protein smoothie because i'm currently craving one i have been loving this smoothie that i've been having at a few of my workout classes so i did a workout class last week and they made something very similar to this and then when i was in new york city they had this um blueberry breakfast smoothie anyways i thought i would show you guys how i make it so First, I add some blueberries. I also don't measure anything. I just kind of like do it by eye. So this looks like it's about half a cup of blueberries, which is perfect, I think, for one serving. I then I'm gonna add this vegan protein powder by Beam. I absolutely love their protein powders. I use them in my oats every single morning. So when I do protein oats, this is the protein powder that I use. My two favorite flavors are blueberry muffin and birthday cake. Honestly guys, like it's so good. Like I already need to restock and I will definitely be restocking. Like I've restocked like I think three times. So this is your sign to get the protein powder. <laughs> so anyways, I'm probably going to do only half a scoop just cause I did half a scoop in my oats this morning. So I don't need to do a full scoop. So I'm gonna add that. I'm then gonna add a scoop of this collagen powder. And there's no scoop in it. So I'm just gonna grab a teaspoon because yeah, I don't know where the scoop is. Okay, we're just gonna do a teaspoon of that. And then I would like to add bananas in this as well, but I don't have any. I have to go grocery shopping at some point today. So I'm gonna show you guys a grocery haul and what I'm getting just cause the grocery store was closed this weekend since it was a holiday. So I wasn't able to get my grocery shopping done or meal prepping or anything, which is totally fine. But anyways, I'm gonna add a decent scoop of Greek yogurt. Some extra protein. I also like Greek yogurt because um, the, like the texture for a smoothie, I find it makes it thicker. I don't know. That could be not true, but that's what I think. And then almond milk, it will be my liquid, which I'm going to pour in now, but first I'm gonna add some almond butter. This is the best almond butter ever. Like I had such a hard time finding a good almond butter in my opinion, and this one is the best one I've tried. It's all natural, literally, it's just dry roasted almonds. That's literally, <laughs> that's literally it. And it is a bit pricey, but it does last me a decent amount of time. So um, I just love to put this on top of my oats, add it to my smoothies, put it on sourdough bread for breakfast. It's just a good healthy fat. I've been a peanut butter girl for so long, but lately I've been craving almond butter. So I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of this. It's a bit more than a teaspoon, but that's all good and then 
the almond butter. This is the almond, not almond butter, almond milk. Um, this is the almond milk I use, very clean ingredients. Elmhurst is the brand. I love this so, so much. And now we're just gonna blend this up. Okay, so I just finished my lunch and I just decided to sit on this couch with my blanket, watching YouTube, doing work, whatever. And I love this blanket so much. I got it from Amazon and it is the cutest blanket ever, but she sheds. <laughs> like look at my legs right now. Like Freddie does not shed. So this is literally the blanket. So I need to change because I look like a lunatic and I have to go to the grocery store. But before I go to the grocery store, I do have to film, not film, God, I keep saying filming. I have to record my podcast. I'm so used to saying filming with YouTube, TikTok, whatever, but I have to record my podcast. I'm recording an episode about anxiety because I feel like that's something a lot of people don't talk about. I think it's really important to talk about like things that you're struggling with. That way people know that it's okay if they're going through the same thing and how I've been able to find ways to help my anxiety. There's no way of really removing anxiety or removing stress from your life. Um, but I do find there's some tips that help me when I'm having anxiety attacks or when I'm having, you know, an anxious day. So I thought I would record an episode about that. And it was also mental health day. National Mental Health Day, I think, yesterday. So I just thought it was like a perfect topic to talk about. So I'm gonna record that episode. I will link my podcast in the description. If you guys didn't know, I started a podcast. I post on a weekly basis every Monday. And I just kind of talk about random stuff. <laughs> Obviously, like very similar to like what I do on YouTube, um, but like more um, focused on like how to become the best version of you. So that's really what I try to focus on talking about on my podcast. But anyways, we're going to record that episode and then we're going to head to the grocery store. But I will change before I go to the grocery store because these pants are like ridiculous. This blanket is so comfy, but she sheds. Hey guys, I just finished recording my podcast and quickly got changed because I'm going to head to the grocery store to pick up some groceries for the week, but I thought I would show you guys my outfit. I have literally worn this outfit probably twice already this weekend. <laughs> I literally just love it so much, just so cozy. And I was also way too lazy to put a whole outfit together just to go to the grocery store. So I just put together a fit that I haven't shown you guys. <laughs> So this crew neck is from Aritzia. These sweatpants are actually cute like little tear down ones from Alo Yoga. This puffer vest I got from Zara, but I recently just saw one at Revolve that is literally looks the exact same because the Zara one is sold out because my sister was going to get it and it's literally sold out online. So I will link the Revolve one that's similar to this one. Um, I got it in a large, so I would size up if you want it to fit like oversized like mine. And then I got this super cute bag, which I think I showed you guys in the last vlog, but it's the Marg Sherwood brand. I've been using it every single day since I've gotten it because I've been obsessed with brown lately for the fall. But anyways, I just spent the past 20 minutes before even vlogging trying to find my car key and I can't find it and I have to go to the grocery store so I need to take Zach's truck even though I really don't want to because I hate driving big vehicles but it's fine I need to get groceries done so that's what I'll be doing until I can find my car key guys I just got home and Zach literally put dinner in the oven and then left because he's going to help his grandma move a mattress to his parents place 
So anyways, I'm having dinner alone tonight. Just had Zach make some broccoli and then I'm gonna have some fish tacos. So he just threw some fish in the oven, which we have an air fryer in our oven, which is such a cool feature, but we've never used it. And he just tried it out and the fish looks perfectly crispy. So very excited to have that. But I thought I could show you guys a little grocery haul because I picked up a bunch of new stuff too that I've never tried. This is the first new thing that I'm very excited to try. I just saw this bread called Naked Loaf and the ingredients are so clean. Literally says clean, simple, and honest. And it's made with whole wheat flour, water, salt, yeast, extra virgin olive oil, raisin, and cinnamon. So I love a good raisin bread. So we'll see how long this actually lasts as well. I'm gonna refrigerate it, but I would love to have this for breakfast tomorrow morning. So I'm very excited about trying that. Got some rice for Zach, really, for lunches this week. Um, spaghetti, because we love to make spaghetti for dinners during the week. This is Zach's, not mine, but cinnamon raisin. Bagels, pita bread. Zach and I love to do like pita pizza, or even just like have pita and hummus for like lunch or snacks, whatever. Bananas for breakfast is essential. Love to snack on these made good chocolate drizzle granola bars. Just if I'm craving something sweet after lunch, which seems to be every day. <laughs> this is what I love to have for dessert after dinner. I just got this organic milk chocolate with some chocolate graham crackers. I have been eating these guys literally for four or five years for dessert every single night, and I'm still not sick and tired of it. I don't know why. It's just like the perfect little munchie, and I love chocolate. So this is like my perfect duo to have when I need something sweet after dinner. Broccoli for veggies for the week, for like dinners and such like that. I like to pick up turkey, um, slices of turkey, sorry, just to have like for a snack or lunch. Um, I like to like do like platters now, like I'll do like cheese, uh, turkey, slices of turkey, other pita and hummus, veggies and hummus, whatever. Like sometimes if I wanna just have a quick lunch, I like to pick up these or even make like a nice sandwich. I've been doing a lot of sandwiches lately. These are for Zach. Asparagus for dinner. Yogurt. I usually have this once a week and it's typically Zach's. Um, blueberries, have that every morning. Strawberries. Um, this almond butter is amazing. I showed you guys this morning I was running out so I picked up another one. I really, 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 really wanna make a pumpkin, chocolate chip pumpkin bread tomorrow, hopefully. So I just picked a bunch of ingredients up because like I never bake <laughs> and I haven't bought any baking ingredients since I moved into this house so I picked up like baking soda vanilla extract baking powder flour all that got some lactose free cheese for like pizza and such best crackers ever avocados to do avocado and toast best oat milk ever by the brand Elmhurst chicken pumpkin cure to make for banana bread and then lettuce and that's it it's currently 5 18 i'm starving i'm gonna eat some dinner my manager also just texted me and i have a bunch of random notifications but anyways gonna eat dinner and then put all this away okay guys i just organized my fridge <laughs> i like slammed the fridge door and there's no better feeling than like a freshly organized fridge. Like, just so satisfying. But anyways, I also forgot to tell you guys that I got cute little orange flowers that I'm gonna put on my dining table because I feel like I haven't gotten flowers in so long, like for inside the house. So right now I'm literally just gonna do that. I'm watching YouTube right now. You guys can really hear, hear someone talking in the background. So I'm watching YouTube, organizing the fridge. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen as well because it is a disaster. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I just woke up not too long ago and was just finishing up some work, but I edited the podcast all night last night. So that is what I did for the remainder of the night. So. It is uploaded now, so I will put the um, 
well, my podcast in the description if you guys are interested in taking a listen. I have, I think, 11 or 12 episodes now. So I've been trying to post every week, every Monday, but sometimes like when it's a long weekend like this, I post it the day after just because I always try and take those personal days as I would like with any other job and just spend time with family. So, um, but today is literally the gloomiest day ever which sucks, but is what it is. I still have a bunch of stuff to do today, um, run some errands, all that, so um, yeah. I just got changed into um, a workout set because I'm gonna do like a light movement. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Like I kind of got like not wanting to work out, but I was like, you know what, maybe I should just do like a quick little one. So I'm gonna do a quick um like pilates one like typically i do like full body lower body um arms and abs whatever like i do like every body part basically like i always do like my upper body and lower body and full body but i'm not feeling like a weighted workout today i'm really feeling just kind of like slow and steady like kind of like yoga vibes like stretching like i feel like i need to do some stretching really badly so that's what I'm going to do this morning. And then I really want to make pumpkin bread. I told you guys that I bought the ingredients for that at the grocery store. So gonna make that today and I'm excited. It's the little things that just get you excited. So gonna do some baking, which will be good. But anyways, let's get this workout done so I can have breakfast. <laughs> Okay, workout is done. I literally just did like the most like easy flow Pilates class, just like 20 minutes. So that was good. My hair is literally a train wreck right now. I just washed it last night, so it's like freshly clean. But like whenever it's like freshly clean, I don't like it having in a ponytail for too long. So we're taking it out and this camera is way too high, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna have that raisin bread that I bought yesterday because I haven't tried it yet and I've been thinking about it all night <laughs> just cause it's like a new purchase. So I think I'm gonna have that for breakfast. I just don't know if I want to have it with peanut butter or almond butter. I don't know. I also don't know if like two slices are enough because like they're so small. Maybe I'll do three. Yeah, anyways. Okay, let's make this. I might put like banana or something on top. I feel like I want to try it like without anything though. Like, like with just like peanut butter or almond butter and then like maybe put my fruit on the side. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, this looks like the least appealing breakfast I've ever made, <laughs> but it's because I couldn't make my mind up between peanut butter and almond butter. So I decided to do one of each and then I'm like, you know what, I'll try butter as well. So we have three different types of toast here that we're gonna try um, and then just blueberries and strawberries and then I made my greens. My hand mixer, I forget what it's called, but anyways, it broke. So I had to use a fork to stir this so it's not very well mixed, but it's fine. I forgot that my hand stir thing broke. I thought we could do a live taste test of each one because I don't know what one's gonna be better. Okay, so first off, the bread's amazing for something like with that clean of ingredients with no added sugars. That's really good. Um, 
peanut butter is good i like that one so let's try the almond butter because i've been on an almond butter kick lately where like i think i might like it better than peanut butter which is crazy to say but we'll see I like the almond one better. Definitely like the almond butter better. That one's really, really good. Wow. I don't think I'm liking peanut butter anymore. Shocked. And then this is just literally just butter. The butter one's very bland. Like I feel like I just wanted to do the butter one because I really wanted to get a taste of what the bread tasted like without these toppings. And there's not really much of a difference in my opinion, but I think the almond butter is definitely the best one. Oh my God, guys. Okay. I was literally here on my laptop doing work, answering emails, whatever. And I get this email from UPS that it said your package was delivered. I've literally been home. Like, what do you mean that a delivery driver came to my door? So this past hour that I was doing work, the delivery driver dropped something off at my door and I didn't even realize because I guess he didn't even ring the doorbell or anything. And I got my package. So I know what it is and I'm so excited right now. I really hope they look good on me, but I ordered the Uggs um, Taz slippers. I ordered them, I wanna say like three weeks ago. Um, I got them off a of stock X just because it was impossible to get them at retail price and I'm so mad at myself because I literally had them in my cart in August and I was like yeah I'm gonna get them and then I totally forgot about them and then like once like September came like it was impossible to get um, my hands on it so then at the end of September I was like frig it I want them so badly like I'm just gonna pay the extra I think it was only ended up being like an extra 40 or 50 dollars um compared to retail which really isn't that bad so i didn't mind paying that but yeah anyways let's unbox this i'm so excited right now i really freaking hope they look good i feel like i like need to change my outfit to even show you guys what they look on because i'm wearing leggings and i feel like these shoes are not meant to be with leggings Here we go. I am way too <gasps> excited. Uh, oh my gosh. I want to get a picture with my phone first before I take this out, but I'm already obsessed with them. Like, so flipping cute. Okay, so I ended up getting changed into a different outfit. So I'm just wearing this bodysuit from Skims. And then these parachute pants are from Amazon. I will try and link them down below. I got them back in the summer, but I love, love them so much. But I got this Skims bodysuit recently, and it's just like a cute little tee. But I only took out one of the shoes because I was too lazy to open up the other one. But how cute. Like, I'm so obsessed. So... If you guys are interested in getting them, it's really hard to get them right now, but you can get them off um, like StockX, like I said, but you need to size up. Like you have to, like look, I got a size eight and I'm a size six and a half. And you can't really tell here on this camera, but like literally the smallest gap, if I got a seven, they would have been way too tight. Plus if you want to wear like thicker socks with them. Yeah, it's just like, if you're going to wear them like as sleepers around the house or whatever, like, yeah, oh my god, I love them so much. I don't even think I own a platform shoe at all. But, yeah, I really, really like them. Anyways, I'm super happy with how those shoes turned out. Um, but I just realized I have to film something for work, and I need to change my outfit again. I love that for me. Anyways, I'm going to change my outfit again. And then I'm going to go make a pumpkin spice latte. I've been enjoying that a lot lately i've been actually using my virtro coffee machine so i'll show you guys the pods that i'm talking about that i recently got actually i may have showed it in the previous vlog the um pumpkin cake virtro pods but anyways i show you guys how i make my pumpkin spice latte but i'm going to 
change first. Okay, this is the espresso machine that I basically use every single morning. It's the Breville Espresso Barista, I think. There's like two models. This is the Pro one, and then there's like another one that's like one above the Pro, which is like a touch screen. But I didn't see the need of getting the touch screen just because there was no difference, except one had a touch screen and one didn't. All the functions were the exact same. So that is the one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I use it every morning. Um, but I do also have my Nespresso, which I got last year, I think. And I really wanted to get the pumpkin cake Nespresso pods because um, I love them so much for the fall season. And when I want to make like a pumpkin spice latte, like it's just nice to have that option. So Zach uses this machine like every morning. Um, so that's why we ended up keeping it. And I'm happy we did because it also is good if I want to have like a larger coffee. Like I feel like this is good for like my iced lattes in the morning. Um, but like if I want like a like a warm coffee, which is rare for some reason for me. I always like to have iced coffees. Um, I've been liking the Nespresso. So anyways, I'm gonna make this now. So how I make my pumpkin spice is, oh, as I drop it, use one of the pumpkin cake Barcho pods. And then I'm gonna grab, actually, I think I want a different mug. I want this one. So, just gonna... I'm going to froth my milk in my Nespresso milk frother. So I like to use this oat milk. It's the, I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. There we go. It's the brand Elmhurst, and I get the oat barista version just because it froths better. So put that in. And then I do literally, guys, a splash of creamer, which is like a vanilla oat one. Does not have the best ingredients, I'm aware, but I can't have my coffee without it. Like, it's an obsession. It just makes the coffee so much better. So I literally put like that. That's it. And guys, this is the best milk frother I've ever used. Like I've tried multiple like ones from Amazon and I just have to say the Nespresso one is totally worth the money. It just, oh, froth so good. There we go. The, as I'm talking about how great the milk frother is it wasn't frothing it was just because like the part when you wash it and you take it out you have to make sure it's popped back in properly or else it will not work pour it in which literally is going to overflow i cannot get over it like how this is literally about to oh my god overflow and then if you want to get real fancy i bought the pumpkin pie spice at my local grocery store and I literally just add the smallest amount on top. Look at that. It looks perfect. Freddie even looks like pumpkin spice. Yum. All right, now I'm just going to get some work done. I just took out my ice roller because I forgot I didn't roll my face this morning and it needs to be rolled. And then I'm just going to light up. My favorite candle, it is the Pumpkin Harvest by Sand and Fog. Literally, it looks like a pumpkin. I showed you guys in a previous vlog, but this is the setup. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I just took Freddy for a walk and it's absolutely beautiful outside. Like the past two days have been super gloomy, which I think I told you guys. So it was needed to have some sun today, but I just threw on the Zara vest that I got last week. And then I'm just wearing this cute um, teddy fleece from Revolve and then this Revolve 
workout sets. So anyways, I'm about to get some work done. It is Friday today, which I'm very happy about. Um, do I have any plans this weekend? I literally don't think I have any plans, which I'm kind of looking forward to because I feel like we have to get a lot of stuff done around the house. Like I want to get that framing done for those pictures that I showed you guys in the last vlog. Um, I'm going to give you guys like a whole like home update kind of thing. Like we have a lot of exciting things coming in in like the next two to three weeks. So I don't want to do any home updates until like that stuff comes in. But let's just say like our living room is going to look completely different. Not completely different, but like pretty different. Um, so I'm very excited. We're getting a new couch. Coffee tables staying the same. Um, but like I'm changing the rug. I'm going to get some accent chairs, I think. So like it's going to look like a totally different vibe. Um, need to put curtains up still. We were waiting to put the curtains up until like the drywall was done because the amount of dust that gets caused from sanding the drywall was insane. Like it was such a crap show to clean but anyways that's done so that's good but we can finally put the curtains up now that that's all done so yeah so a lot of like exciting things gonna be coming in the next few weeks but i'm so excited because i'm literally doing an ad for skims right now like what skims can't believe that they sent me this super cute um t-shirt in this like lilac purple this is like their new color they just came out with and then I absolutely love these um, underwear where it's like little shorts because I like to wear them to bed because I get super hot um, sleeping with covers on so I like to wear like shorts or like short underwear like this to bed and even this too like the material is so thin it's their fit fits everybody collection I think but this color is so pretty so anyways I'm gonna get changed into this shoot this content for tiktok edit it hey guys it has been a hot minute i was shooting for skims as i said so i got ready i shot the content i edited the content and yeah i got a bunch of packages at the front door and i thought we could do a little unboxing i have two other packages that i don't open because i'm filming a tiktok right now <laughs> that's why my tripod's out so i want to yeah film that tiktok first and then i can show you guys like, what's in those boxes so i like to do unboxing videos on tiktok i don't know i just find it fun but anyway i got this really cute sweater that i've been waiting from uh revolve waiting for from revolve sorry and freddy Please stop. You're going crazy. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. It's like the perfect, like, chunky knit sweater. I got this in a medium. And it's like a nice, like, cream color. And it has like a collar. Has like these beautiful, like, wide folded sleeves. That's what I got from Revolve. I did get a bunch of other stuff. But I've already unboxed it it's in another room. And there's nothing really that exciting. I kind of got just like basics that um, I need for like fall. So like a black uh, long sleeve turtleneck. A turtleneck, turtleneck that's like sleeveless that I can wear with like jackets, whatever. So nothing that exciting. But I can show you guys if you guys are looking for more fall inspo outfits. And then, oh, I already ripped it. Aritzia. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. I got the mega cozy uh, cargo sweatpants that I wear all the time, the gray ones. And I ended up getting them in this chocolate brown. It's called the Rich Mocha Brown. And these are them. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, literally gonna be wearing these all the time. They are the best sweatpants, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I've tried so many of Aritzia's different style of sweatpants, and I literally don't like any of them. Like, I literally bought the boyfriend ones a few weeks ago, and I think I told you guys that, and I, I'm returning them. Like, I don't I don't like them as much as these. There's just something about these that fit so well. Like it's not like it's not flared, it's not skinny, it's like straight. 
and it just they're just so flattering and I just like love how there's pockets on the butt like it's just I wear those gray sweatpants like way too often and I will wear that so I'm like I literally need them in every color I'm just gonna order them in black I think I think I'm gonna return those boyfriend ones that I wasn't sure about and get them well get these sorry in black that way I have black brown and gray and those are like that's enough I think that's good for me <laughs> for sweatpants but yeah I think it's just because like I work from home and I feel like it's like a fancy enough sweatpant that you can like leave the house with and still look put together um that's why I like it so much but those are the things that I got I am gonna do this quick little unboxing video on TikTok and then get ready to go shoot content with my sister we're going to um Westboro which is not too far from here and we're gonna go shoot some fall content so I'm excited about that and then I think I might do takeout tonight with Zach I don't know maybe we'll just have like a little date night here at the house Freddie is like going crazy right now Hey, show everybody, show everybody your craziness. Freds, this dog has so much energy. Hey, he knows the camera's on him and he's like, I don't want to talk. Hello, baby. It's the boo. I just picked up dinner for Zach and I. We already ate it but i thought i would still show it so we got this amazing spicy chicken pad thai from this um restaurant called canada noodle house that's just like by my place and i got these chicken rice wraps which comes with like this peanut sauce which is so yummy so i had one of these uh broccoli and then i had some of this pad thai i need to clean that up and now i'm having this for dessert this ice cream is literally amazing, guys, if you guys like dairy-free options. It is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Oat Meal Cookie Ice Cream. And there's literally chunks. Like, I've already had this for a few days. And there's already, like, look. Look at those cookie dough chunks. It is the best dairy-free ice cream I've ever had. I'm not even over-exaggerating. So, highly recommend trying this. They have, like, a bunch of different flavors, too. So... I'm gonna have that for dessert. But I think I'm going to end this week in my life vlog now. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe. I try and post on a weekly basis. I don't even know if I had food stuck in my teeth right now because I literally just finished eating. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you next week.